Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with another episode of our Mountain Blade Warband Warsword Conquest Let's Play. So, um, in the last episode we were just trying to, you know, run around, pick some fights, and gain some renown. And today I thought we would do a little bit of raiding, so I kind of snuck my way into Kislev. Um, I think they've got their hands full fighting the, uh, the Chaos Lords in this area, because they've been raiding this, this little piece of land over here, and so I think they might be fighting... I'm not sure where, but I was able to kind of cut through and get here without anybody chasing me, so that's a good start, right? Anyways, I figured we'd raid this village and then figure out where to go from there. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I would just like to remind you guys while we are... Oh, shoot, who is that? Oh, I can take you. Let's see, nobody's joining on his side. Um, okay, so I would like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying our War Sword Conquest playthrough thus far, and you'd like to see more War Sword Conquest, or just more Mountain Blade Warband in general. And don't forget to subscribe as well, it's the best way to help the channel grow, the best way to follow along with this particular series, and the only way to get your character into the game. So, uh, have I been bested? I don't think I've been bested. I mean, we ran away in one of the fights, but I, I don't count that. So let's fight him to the end. So, my 69 against their 24, I like the odds of that. <clears throat> okay, follow me, and they are already upon us, more or less. So, let's see. Skirmishers, hold here, infantry, just down slope from them. And then Vanguard, why don't you join them? Cavalry, you can stick with me. Let's go over here. Are they going to come at us? I'd be impressed if they did. But normally they just kind of charge blindly anyways. They're thinking about it. Having a good hard think. Hmm. You know what? Fine. Everybody, charge. We'll do this the, the chaos way. Which in this case is eerily similar to the orky way, but... That was weak. Apparently we're just gonna stand here and trade blows with them. But I figure if they're not gonna use the advantage of their, you know, mounted troops charging in with lances, I'm going to let my infantry swarm them. Because that plays to my advantage. Wow, they are really taking chunks out of me. We are not doing so well here. Oh my god, they're getting butchered. They have really good armor is the issue here. Like, they have amazing cavalry, but their uh, infantry leaves a lot to be desired. Did I not get him? I got the horse. Hopefully they can wrap it up from there. But I don't like how many men we've lost. There we go. Apparently I have to do everything. Well, they put him down, that's good. Guys on the bears are still going around. Okay, we just saw somebody get taken out. And there goes another. Um, you. Did I miss? Somebody got him. Oh, I must have knocked him off the horse. There we go. That didn't go very well, but we won. I'll take it. Uh, 14 dead, wow. That hurts. Um, three champions as well. That is rough. And a warrior of corn. Whew. That that smarts just a little bit. Uh, let's grab all this stuff. And I guess we'll start to raid this. Looks like we had a couple level ups there, actually. I'm going to handle those first. Because if we get attacked, I want to be ready. And the best way to do that is to make sure that everybody is ready to fight. Um, do I need more Berserkers? Give me one and the rest can go Champions. And you can be a Marauder. There we go. Mm, more Veterans, yeah. That looks good to me. Let's level up our friend here. And so he's going to be mostly geared toward intelligence so let's do that and then uh, I was gonna make him sort of our healer 
So we'll put a point into surgery and into probably uh, wound treatment. First aid only helps heroes, so I figure the the one that affects the whole party is probably a better idea. Okay, and then of course we leveled up as well. So let's handle that. Um, I'm gonna go intelligence nine just because that is going to give me two points that I can spend. Let's see, looting might be a good idea. Tactics is definitely a good idea. I think I'm actually gonna go pathfinding too. I've been noticing that we're pretty damn slow and that's never good when you're a small party like we are. Okay, Svedra, here we go. Not gonna recruit, we're gonna take hostile action. Um, loot and burn. And hopefully we don't get like, I don't know, curb stomped by some giant party running in here. Ooh, that scared me. Yeah, any, anybody in purple, well, is that purple? It's kind of like a, it's a real light, like almost lavender color. Just keep going that way. Keep heading southwest. Don't want to come up here. We got away with it. Nice. And, oh, wow, look at all this. So this junk can all go. And we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's going to be more valuable than any of this. So all of that can go. And we'll grab everything of value. And that appears to be all that we can carry. You know what? Get rid of this and grab that. And are any of these nearly gone? That one is. So get rid of that as well. And give me the bread, I guess. And we'll hang on to that as food. Okay, so now we just need to escape. So I'm going to start heading back this way, trying to get to Chaos Territory, and I guess I'll see you guys when we find something interesting to do. So there's some stuff going, do going down over here near uh, Gotland. Um, it looks like some Chaos Scouts and one of the Lords caught this uh, party of foragers, and then this guy is fleeing the area. So I'm going to jump in here, and then we'll see if we can't run him down. He's, he's fleeing from us, actually. I assume he's running from the party, but... Um, yeah, let's do that, and then I'd like to cross the river and head to Askerved so that we can sell all this stuff that we grabbed, because it's not really going to do us any good in my inventory, especially if we get slaughtered by, you know, one of the Kislevite lords that's actually worth something. So we're obviously going to help the Realm of Chaos, and we'll lead our troops. No point in getting fancy on this one, we outnumber them like 10 to 1, so I'm just going to go ahead and charge in, we'll make sure everybody else is doing the same. Who is this guy? Is that the other lord? He's got a pretty big axe in his hand. Like for anybody else that would be a battle axe, but he's using it like a one-handed war axe. Oh, I totally whiffed. At least I got somebody there. There we go. And there goes my frame rate with it. Um, damn. Okay. Oh, I thought for sure I had him. The reach of this sword always throws me a bit. It looks a lot bigger than it is. Come on, come on, come on. Anybody else? I see somebody trying to flee. Actually, no, he's trying to fight one of these cavalry. There we go. We got him. Well, that guy got him. So no casualties on either either one of our parts there. Um, nothing really worth mentioning as far as loot's concerned. Let's see if we can't catch this guy. Uh-oh. There's an Inquisitor there. I get the feeling that they're probably not going to help me out. No, I mean, there's two parties there. Let's get in it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on here. 14, 55. Are they all going to join? I'm curious now. Um, if I rush to the aid of the Chaos Patrol, 
Okay, it's just the 23. Yeah, we'll definitely take part in that one. Okay, so follow me. Oh, we got a blood letter. Cool. Let's go over here and take the high ground. That looks pretty good. And there they are, coming up over that hill. I'd prefer to let them come to us, but I don't know if they're really going to do that. <laughs> Those Nurgle guys crack me up. The, the plague bears and whatever. They just look like giant boogers. Actually, the plague bear is the big guy over there, isn't he? Well, they're going to hold their ground, so I guess we have to go to them. I'm not seeing too much cavalry there. I guess there's a couple on that end. But we're going to try to hit them all at, all at once. I think that's the best way to do this. I'm not even going to bother with the, the lance here. Actually, you know what? I might. Because this guy's not even facing the right direction. Damn it. Damn you and your indestructible bears. The whole name just wrecked somebody's day. Good for him. Come on, get the guy on the bear. Get the guy on the bear. Don't let him slaughter us. Okay, Lance's worthless. Uh, well, I hit him. Just need to do it a couple more times. Stop dying. Okay, he's gone. That's good. Uh, booger men look to have this handled over here. And we got one guy on foot trying to flee. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Oh, nobody on our side died. Good. A couple of zealots and a demon that died on theirs, though. And the blood letters are again thanking me for my efforts. I do not really have room for this stuff, do I? You know what? The dried meat can probably go because that's a little bit more valuable. Okay, so we gotta sort this mess out now. Uh, there's a lot of chaos patrols around here, but there's also a bunch of inquisitors and that makes me nervous. Because the Inquisitors have pretty good armies, as I recall. The Brotherhood of the Bear Rangers, to me, seem overpowered. Like, those bears do not go down. You can hit the bear with a couch lance like two times, and it's it's not going to fall down. And that would kill a troll. That would kill a chaos troll, but not the, uh, the bears, apparently. Okay, so that just turned into a mess. Yeah, best we get out of there. We got our loot, we won some fights, we're going to go sell some stuff, make some money, and uh, find some more fights, because that's what we do. I don't know if I'm actually going to join the uh, the Realm of Chaos as a faction. Let me know what you guys think about that, whether or not we should join. But uh, I might just try to keep building up our party strength and then just kind of venture out on our own. But uh, I'll, I'll leave that one to you guys. Let me know what you think would be, would be better, what would advance us quicker in the eyes of our uh, our chosen chaos deities I don't know if I'm gonna uh, if I'm gonna choose a side I might just go undivided okay so first things first we'll go to the market and sell anything of value oh I should have dropped those hides they were not very valuable were they he's got 16,000 gold we should be able to sell everything here so get rid of all of this. Um, day old chicken. I don't know. I, I usually don't buy chicken and things like that because they always spoil. I usually don't bother. That's going to sell for 60. That'll sell for 100. I may as well get rid of it. And then uh, give me something that will keep a little bit longer. Like fruit. Give me some fruit. And maybe a bag of grain. Or something, I don't know. Give me some bread. 
actually dried meat is pretty good that gives you actually the bread gives you a lot of morale too doesn't it hmm you know what I'm gonna get rid of the fresh beef and we'll take the dried meat that'll keep a lot longer I don't have to worry about it going day old or bad or anything like that and that's gonna put us up to 14 almost 15,000 gold not too bad anything here that we might want Man, I kind of like the helmet I have. I have. I like the little red eyes in there. None of the other ones have like any any sign of like a face. It's just like a bunch of holes in a giant metal helmet. Oh wait, wait, wait. I don't want to keep that. Okay. Cool. So we actually built a mill in Askerved last time around. So what we might want to do is head to... the problem is Mount Veneer is just so far. But I think it would be worthwhile doing something similar there as well, and then eventually Gosselor if we ever head in that direction. Just because that'll give us some supplementary income, given how hard raiding has been. I mean, it's pretty difficult for us to consistently find places to raid or to fight. Ooh, are you going to attack them? If you If you jump in on that fight, I will help you. Unless, of course, this guy jumps in on that fight, and then I might not be so sure. We'll see. No, he's definitely going to hop in on that. Oh, no, okay. So 84 against 51. Of course, the 84 is mostly my guys. Okay. Follow me, if you will. And where are they? Oh, there they are. They're, like, already on us. Let's see, can I snipe one of you? Probably not, I mean, more often than not, this lance just whiffs. Well, it, it killed the horse. Okay, I'm gonna circle back, let them run into some zealots. Cause that's what zealots are good for. Get you run into by things that would normally come after the, the more important people. Come on, somebody get him. Get this bear guy, too. They just have really, really good armor. And insanely good armor. There. Okay, go ahead and charge, if you're not charging already. Um, since we dealt with most of their elite cavalry, I think it's just going to be a matter of mopping up these little guys. Uh, that horse didn't have anybody on it. Good. You're shooting at my dudes, so you're going to lose your head. Really, 43 damage, and he didn't go down. Man. Get out of here. And I can't seem to hit him. There we go. Okay, how about this guy? Well, I clipped him. Those thrusting attacks on horseback are not ideal, though. Somebody want to get him? There it is. Okay. So what did we lose? One of our tribesmen was killed. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, let's see. Oh, we get blood letters. Yes. And some zealots. I don't know if I want zealots. I don't mind some plague bearers, though. Why is there like a leg on the ground? That's a bit concerning. I'll take these guys. I don't know if the Daemonettes are any good. I guess we'll take a few and see what happens. And then the Zealots I'm not going to bother with. Just because uh, any infantry I recruit will be better than that. Let's go ahead and upgrade our guys while we're here. And then it looks like we're going to go right into a fight with another group of Inquisitors. Apparently we didn't have... Oh, this is our first undivided knight. Got it. I was like, I thought we had some warriors. This guy's a knight, so he's actually on horseback. And he is going to be part of my chosen. So him and Mame are going to be part of my chosen. And uh, you guys are all part of the vanguard, right? Yeah. Good, good, good. Give me some more marauders. And you need to move to the bottom of the list where you won't get knocked out so easily 
And you should be further down, I feel like. Or no. Excuse me, they are technically the same level. Give me some blood letters higher up, though. That, that'll be fun. Okay. Anything in here that we might want? Well, I mean, we may as well take it, because it is... Well, actually, those hats are worth literally nothing. All right. So, it looks like we are going right into a fight with these guys. I'm hoping that the patrol will initiate combat with them. And that I can just sort of, like, join in. It looks like they're just going to stand... No, okay. Interesting. They're running from me. Okay, well, the patrol should run them down. And then I'll just pile in on it. Perfect. Okay, so let's take this hill and then figure out what we want to do. If you guys would follow me. Oh, crap. False peak. We're going to charge over this right into them. Well, I got somebody that time. Slow a couple of you down. And everybody charge. Why are you not charging? You all decided to attack like the same one guy. I think the bear guy should be able to be dealt with because he's completely swarmed. I say that, but we'll probably end up losing a bunch of people. No, one of the blood letters got him. Nice. Blood letters are earning their keep. And I think they actually have one prisoner in this army as well, so we'll get another. Come on. At least take the horse out. You put him on foot there. Oh, that was my blood letter, wasn't it? Hopefully it wasn't. Okay, I got you. Oh, there you are. And let's cut down some of these guys. Just swinging wildly. Oh, one of those brother bear guys is still up. Come on, damn it. They're kind of hard to hit, too, because of the, the size of the bear. You can't get too close to them. Oh, he decided to flee. Okay. Fine by me. Fine by me. That's one less cheap bear rider I have to deal with. But yeah, the, the size of the bear makes it so that you can't get as close to them as you could with somebody on a horse. Because the horses are a lot more narrow. And so the bear guys can be really difficult to hit. So, that was my blood letter. Damn it. Um, the rest of that's not too bad, but still less than ideal. And, oh, there wasn't another blood letter. I'll, I'll take the marauders, I guess, and the hunters. And I don't really need any more of you guys. Such a shame. Those blood letters are good. They're just not very well armored. Not very well armored. I should probably get some more warriors of corn. I'll, I'll start putting some more berserkers in there. That looks good to me. Let's grab some of this. Ooh, a pistol. We might give that to somebody. A bunch of those boots are not worth anything. In fact, a lot of them aren't. Whatever, we'll stick with that. Okay. Maybe we can catch these guys and take them prisoner. No, they are long gone. Oh well. Let's come over here and see who just crossed in. Uh, let's see. Some really, really weak armies, actually. I'm... Yeah, let's do it. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't see that one. Ah. Damn it. And, it, of course, it gave them credit for initiating the fight, even though I clicked first. So, I guess we'll fight you to the end. Oh, they're not reinforced. Thank God. Okay. That's so funny, because it's given them reinforcements on much much greater distances than that these guys were like right on top of them and they didn't get it for whatever reason Whew. okay follow me if you will and let's wait right here 
Actually, no, they're not going to come to us, so we'll, or, we'll move a little bit. Not a lot of flat land around here, though. Everything's really hilly, and it makes it even harder to get anything done with this lance than it normally would be. And they've got muskets, too. That's fantastic. Um, I guess just charge. Really no reason to mess around with this. The Damonettes are getting in there first, it looks like. They have, like, spikes on their hands, so we'll see if they're any good. I didn't notice them getting any kills last time. That was worthless. At least I did a little bit of damage with the thrust there. I'm just going to start calling those guys snot golems, because that's what they look like. I got somebody, finally. Can I get you? Apparently not. He's got a javelin sticking out of his back, too. That's... It's got to be tough to deal with. I would think. There we go. I just, like, hamstrung him as he went up the hill. Alright, so... Is that the last guy? No, I bet the bear rider's still running around somewhere. Maybe I should get a bear. The thing is, they look they look funny because they look so small under these Chaos Warriors. But I, I don't think I could handle it. Because these horses are a lot bigger than normal horses. You can tell, like, this guy's horse, for example. Oh, I had him. What the hell is that? Why is it glowing so bright? Probably just doesn't have proper shaders on it or something. I don't think we're going to get this guy. His horse is a lot quicker than ours. It is a lot smaller after all. As is he. I think he's trying to flee though. Yeah, he's gone. Well, that's the end of that. One of our tribesmen was killed, not a big deal. We, of course, defeated them, and we rescued some more people to join us. I'll take the hunter, since he's the most highly leveled of the bunch. And then I will look and see if maybe there's... Yeah, we have, we have a tribesman. So I'm just going to release you and take the hunter, I guess. It skips out on a level of uh, the troop tree by doing that. And I don't know that you guys are that good. Honestly, I'm going to get rid of two of the Nurglings. Because I have Plague Bears, and I'm just going to take these Axe Throwers. And then, um... Actually, move the... Why are the Hunters there? Oh, right. Okay, so do that. And then... I guess we'll leave it there. Grab whatever weapons are somewhat valuable. And I think we've got another fight on our hands. And this one's looking a little bit scarier. So this one's going to be almost even. They've got two Brotherhood of the Bear Rangers, nine Czechist officers, 14 agents. I don't know which ones of those are mounted and which ones aren't. I'm fairly certain that the Czechists and the recruits are uh, foot troops, though. The recruits, definitely. The check is, yeah, pretty sure as well. Agents might be. Officers, I'm fairly certain, are mounted. Oh, well, let's do it. Oh, he's running away. Okay. Well, we might catch you, pal. No, we're moving at the same speed there. We got him. Okay, here we go. And I think this will be our last fight of the day because we are running out of time. But uh, let's try to end this one with a bang. Wipe them out, and uh, they had nine prisoners, so I think we'll be able to replenish whatever forces we lose fairly easily here. Somebody gonna run into my lance, please? Nope. I did clip the horse a bit, though. Uh, turn tighter. Damn it. <laughs> Go ahead and charge, everybody. And I'm gonna try to catch somebody with this. They're moving too quickly, though. There it is. Right in the back. 
Plague Bear got a kill. The Plague Bears, I think, are actually fairly good. The Nurglings, not so much. But actually, one of them got a kill there, so maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to keep my eyes open and see if the Daemonettes do anything, because they might be the worst of the bunch. It's just, it's kind of hard to tell without seeing their stats. No, they're getting some kills too. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop some more. I don't, I, I think I'd rather have Bloodthirsters though, to be honest. Or not Bloodthirsters, excuse me. I would obviously prefer Bloodthirsters. Um, blood Letters. I, I'm more of a fan of like corn than uh, I am of Slanesh or Nurgle. Slanesh especially, I'm not a huge fan of Slanesh. But yeah, I really don't enjoy Nurgle that much either. So I'd prefer to just go like corn. You know, blood letters, blood thirsters. I don't know if you can get blood letters in this, but that would be so legit if you could. Nice. Got a pretty good army going for us now. We've got some. Some decent troops supplemented by some demons to help us out. We got two berserkers there. Well, let's level everybody up first and see where we stand. Actually, we don't have any room. Um, give me another berserker and then go champions with the rest. And uh, yeah, give me another veteran, I suppose. So, I guess we're just going to have to let these guys go. Hate to do it, but we don't have any room. And everybody seems to be pulling their weight so far. Actually, I'll get rid of the one Nurgling. And we'll, we'll just keep the Plague Bears. And I'll take the... I'll take a Pit Fighter. Because I don't have a lot of those guys. And we got some loot here. None of which I think is going to be all that valuable. But I've got a lot of stuff in here that isn't, so... We'll replace what we can. 26. It's better than the hat, at least. All right, and there's another level up for us, as well as for some of our party, I think. Uh, I am going to end it here, because we are out of time. But in the next episode, we'll continue to try to raid Kislev, uh, try to hit some more of their villages and make some more money. Um, maybe between episodes, I'll head over to Mount Veneer and uh, buy another... Uh, business so that you guys don't have to watch me travel all the way over there but yeah I'd like to go after a few of these villages and um, raid them and loot them but yeah thank you so much for watching I had a great time playing some more sword conquest with you guys and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode